demonstrating passive accessory intervertebral motion of the lumbar spine. We've already assessed in the lumbar spine and found areas of hypermob or hypermobility. We've looked at the quality of the motion. We've looked at the end feel, and we've looked at the pain and resistance sequence. So now we're gonna move on to treatment. To begin, you wanna position the, the patient prone on the table in a comfortable position with a neutral spine. The therapist should adjust the height of the table so that when he, directs, when he or she directs his force, it's going directly posterior to anterior and his elbows are straight and he can direct his force directly down. So the first thing we do is we want to locate the spinous processes of the lumbar spine. So we'll start at lumbar vertebrae 5, and we're going to count back to 1. So we start, we'll start by locating 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now that we've oriented ourselves, we can work on, we can work on whichever segment needs to be mobilized. So to do this, we're going to run through the hand positions we can use real quickly. The first hand position is using the PZ form and your other hand. So you're going to use this part of the this part of your hand, sort of the anterior lateral aspect, and then your other hand. And you're going to place that directly over the spinous process with your other hand on top. The second position you can use is the thumb over thumb. So what you're going to do is put one thumb right on the spinous process and the other thumb on top to reinforce. And again, you're going to be pushing directly down. The third position you can use is the thumb over finger. So you, in this case, the finger would be directly on the, on the spinous process, and the thumb would be directly over, and then you direct the force using the thumb over the finger. So now we're going to be demonstrating pavum treatment on our patient, Lisa, here. I'm going to give her a quick, quick rundown of what we're going to do first, and then we'll demonstrate grades one through four of the pavum treatment on here. So, Lisa, how are you doing today? Good, thanks. Okay. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to just be applying a little bit of force on your vertebrae through the bones on your back, and you're going to see, I'm going to take a look at the motion, and I want you to let me know if you're feeling a lot of discomfort or any pain. Okay. So, Lisa, the first thing I need you to do is just lie down on your stomach. So right now I'm just locating the lumbar vertebrae and I'm focusing on the spinous processes. And we've already assessed Lisa using pavins and determined that she's having a little bit of hypomobility at the fourth lumbar vertebrae, so L4. So to start out with, we're gonna we're gonna start out with what's called a grade one. So Put my hand, hand position, and then I'm just going to be having very gentle oscillations. Just, just barely into the range of accessory range of motion. How does that feel, Lisa? Good. No pain or discomfort. No, no okay. pain. So we'd start off probably about 30 seconds. We're trying to do three oscillations every every second. For grade two, find our spinous process again. We're going to want to go about 50% through the range of motion. Same frequency of oscillation. So, so we're just engaging a greater range of motion. How does that feel, Lisa? Good. A little bit more pressure than the first time, but okay. no pain or discomfort. Okay, good. Again, if we're using a grade two, we'd go for about 30 seconds to start out with. For a grade three, we're, we're going to be going throughout the range of motion. So we're going to go all the way to the, the end range. So it's going, to be, it's going to be even a bigger oscillation than grade two. So what I'm going to do is apply pressure and engage the end range. And then I'm going to go all the way off. So still three oscillations per second, but 
but I'm going all the way through the range. How does that feel, Lisa? All right, a little discomfort. I can feel okay. a lot of pressure, but it's good. Okay. Is it very painful? Do you think you can tolerate it? Or? I can tolerate it. Okay. Now, at this point, if Lisa was experiencing too much discomfort, we would probably back off and start with a grade two. But for the purposes of the demonstration, we're going to we're going to proceed and um, demonstrate grade four. So for grade four, it's going to be through the range of motion, and we're going to engage just beyond with tiny oscillations. Again, the quick oscill oscillations three per second. So we're going taking up all the range, and we're going to give small, quick oscillations. How are you doing, Lisa? That's a little painful. Okay. So at this point, we would definitely discontinue the treatment and back off and go with a lighter grade of oscillations. 